Hey guys, Aeth here. I'm going to be playing um, Bloodborne today, and sorry about that it's not my dad doing a review on this, and it's me fighting a boss fight, but um, he's at work, and he didn't have time to make a video, so I'm going to be doing it for him, and I just feel like demonstrating how hard this game truly is. People have told Dad, people have told me, that this is a hard game. I'm going to demonstrate what a 12-year-old can do with this game. And, um... <laughs> to be honest, for the three days that I've had this, I've already killed two of the boss fights, and I've almost gotten to my fourth one. Well, not my fourth one, my third one, which I'm about to show you. And I'm not even going to worry about all the other enemies, and I'm just going to rush straight to the boss fight. It's not that I can't kill the other enemies, it's just that'll take up a lot of time. <laughs> that guy fell. <laughs> um, I like this game because it's pretty much just the third Dark Souls game, but easier. And they've gotten rid of the shield and replaced it with a gun. And, um, and they've added a horror element to it. So, yeah. It's pretty much the same game as Dark Souls. And to even prove that more is, um, they took the same physics engine, I think, from the other games. Because whenever you walk over a body, it, it comes with you. <laughs> It attaches to you for some reason and come and follows you on your journey. And I just think that's funny. <laughs> but, um, those were werewolves. They died easy. And, um, unlike with Dark Souls, you'll instantly have 20 health potions. Well, not instantly, but that's your maximum. That's the maximum amount of health potions you can carry. And it's not really that hard to keep it full because every other enemy you kill drops one to five of them. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to go through this last little area and then I will be right at the boss fight and I'll kill him. <laughs> and... With this boss fight I'm about to do, I've heard of cases where people just can't get past it no matter what they do. And, um, yeah, we're going to see how much trouble I have with it. I mean, the first boss fight killed on my first try. The second one, I didn't get it on my first try, but I got it on my second try, and I had to level up a little bit because I was under level when I killed the first boss fight. So, I had to get above the level of the second boss fight to beat him. Which, I think makes sense, because with most of these boss fights, it doesn't matter if you're the same level as them, it matters on how good you are at the game. So, if you're really bad at the game, then you're gonna die. It's guaranteed. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is the boss fight. It's Blood, Blood Star of the Beast. And, um, yeah. I've fought him before to see what the fight was like. And, um, I didn't know what I was getting into. So, um, I died, and I haven't leveled up since the last time I fought him. So, yeah. I'm just as strong as I was before, and I'm gonna try it again. And the way you fight this one is whenever he does a certain attack, you have to dodge it. So, with this attack right here, that one, you dodge that, and then you can hit him from behind if he does the right attack. But then he didn't do the right attack, he did the long range attack. And if he does the long range attack, you can't really do it right. And see, I just got my blood echoes back. So now I'm up to 12,000 souls. 
Well, not Soul's Blood Echoes. Sorry, I can't remember what they're called in this. For whatever reason. Maybe it's because I've played the other four games this company has made, and every time it's been called Soul. And, um... For, like I said, for the three days I've had this, I've already killed two of the boss fights, and it wasn't really all that hard. And, um, if anyone's having trouble with this boss fight, just do what I do. And, um, yeah, people have said this is one of the harder boss fights in the game, and I'm not really believing it. And really, it has the same attack that you can dodge as a werewolf does, but it has more attacks. The attack that you attack it with, or like dodge and then attack him after you dodged it, is that attack you just did. You dodge the attack and then you hit him from behind a few times and then you dodge away so he doesn't hit you. And that's pretty much how you fight a regular werewolf. So, yeah, I'm not really too impressed with this game. I mean, it's fun. It's fun to play. It's addicting. It's just, I feel like they could have done better if they had made it on the PS4. One thing I've noticed is that there is a lot of aliasing in this game. The anti-aliasing sucks in this game. They could have made the graphics a lot better, I think. Sure, they know how to capture the essence of Dark Souls and how Dark Souls worked, but they can't really capture the essence that PS4 is next gen, and they need to up their graphics and their physics. They got the difficulty right. I haven't really noticed a story like the other ones. I mean, I know there is a story, but... Who has time to hear the story when they're slashing a bunch of bad guys? <laughs> I haven't really been listening to the story all that much. And this is my third boss fight, and I just lost a lot of health. But this is my third boss fight, and it's not even the boss fight, it's, it's supposed to be the third one. The third one is supposed to be, um... A werewolf with like electric skin or something. I forgot the name, but um, that's the um, Eric the area attack that he does where he shoots acid all over the room, and if you're far enough from it, you can't be hit by it. So I guess I was far away from it. But yeah, the majority of this game, you will spend dodging and upgrading. The more you dodge, the longer you live. And the more you use your shotgun, the more staggered the enemies get, and the more you can attack them. So it's either dodge a lot or stagger the enemies a lot. It's one of the two. is not good. This is about to be over, I think. Fight. I hope at least. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Hopefully I won't croak while I'm fighting this guy. I don't think I will though. Yeah, yeah, he's he's dying. I've got full health and he's got that. So, and you won't really see the trophy pop 
for me because I've got notifications turned off because the friends on my friends list can't decide what party they want to be in. So it's like every five seconds they're changing parties and they're always inviting me to them. And I never accept. And there he goes. <laughs> so, yeah, see, can't take screenshot here. It's because I have notifications turned off. So, I'm going to go to the lamp, and, um, that's how hard Bloodborne is. If you know how to play, you know how to win. So, yeah.